एट मार्क्स क्वेश्चन स्ट्रक्चर क्रेजी कैम्ब्रिज आई जी सी एस ई इकनॉमिक जीरो फोर डबल फाइव नाउ लेट सी हाउ डू राइट एट मार्क्स आंसर्स सो फर्स्ट थिंग इज इफ देर इज अ डायग्राम रिक्वायर्ड इन योर आंसर्स यू शुड ड्रॉ द डायग्राम एंड यूज इट अराउंड फोर मार्क्स फॉर इट इफ इट इज़ प्रॉपरली एंड नीटली ड्रॉन एंड इफ एवरी थिंग इज लेबल परफेक्टली यूल गेट फोर मार्क्स फॉर दैट डायग्राम यू गेट टू पॉइंट यू हैव टू मैंशन टू पॉइंट्स एंड यू नीड टू एक्सप्लेन दोज टू पॉइंट्स विच यू इंक्लूड इन योर आंसर एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो गिव अ डेफिनेशन एट द स्टार्ट ऑफ योर एसे एंड इफ देर इज नो डायग्राम रिक्वायर्ड इन योर आंसर दैन यू हैव टू गिव थ्री पॉइंट्स and explain all three points you can also include a definition if there is any key term um mentioned in the question then you can give the definition of it and explain everything correctly so eight marks answer you have to put the definition then you can put advan if the question is asking you for advantages only just write the advantages if they ask you like discuss which means you need to give advantages and disadvantages and you can give two points for advantages and disadvantages each you can make them in different paragraphs so maybe the definition and advantages in one paragraph then you leave a line and then you write another paragraph for the disadvantages and it looks more neat when you put your answer in paragraphs then you can use real life examples in your uh, answers that is uh, recommended because it shows that you have thorough knowledge of the real life world as well then uh, this is uh, eight marks on uh, questions are mostly discussed questions so you can give advantages and disadvantages now here are some sample answers this question is discuss whether the government should encourage the use of bicycle for this question i have got for this answer i have got 7 on 8 so let's read the answer the government should encourage the use of bicycle because of the following advantages so you start by trying to elaborate your answer try to make it as long as possible you can firstly you can use connectives like firstly in addition furthermore firstly initiating bicycles will reduce pollution as it is eco friendly as there will be more of bicycles on roads than cars and bicycles do not produce carbon em- uh, emissions unlike the cars which produce carbon emissions that pollute the air it will destroy the environment it is good for people's health it will help people burn calories and it is a good fitness method it will keep people fit healthy and active and as mentioned here by the teacher i did not mention that it is a merit good and merit good is a key term so it would be good if you would mention it as thus it's a merit good then you have your uh, contrary answer which is a disadvantage on the other hand there are disadvantages as well first people traveling long distances will find it difficult to travel since they would have to pedal a lot and it would make them tired and lazy it will be cheap but it will be bad for the economy since there would be less income for the government and see here i have linked macroeconomics to the question and since there will be less income and less profit resulting in less economic growth so for this answer i've got 7 now for this question discuss whether or not moving firms from the public sector to the private sector will benefit an economy so you can take a close look at this answer so here it's um, starting with the definition public sector is where firms are in public sector uh moving firms to private sector will mean that there will be more efficiency in the firms this is one and then you have to elaborate it and that's why i have said as the firms will be able, uh, uh, will be aiming to make profits this will also lead to less costs for the firms now you see the next paragraph is in contrast the private sector only aim at profit and they'll not consider the external costs like pollution and it will disrupt the environment so here i have also added more points about um the disadvantages and then at the end since the discuss question you could give a conclusion like thus the prices will be low increasing aggregate demand and need for labor resulting in increased employment then you can say however this cannot be done by the private sector 
so if you want you can give us a small uh, conclusion at the end of your answer as well so this is the end of the topic i hope you understood how to write your 8 marks answers effectively and get 7 or 8 marks for these essays and good luck thank you for watching crazy cambridge